Well, hello! Welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Me and You, Bebeamente y Tu y Yo. And today, you guys, I promised you I will bring you a cash stuffing of some Etsy income that I have. And we're also going to kick off our brand new game, which is the Budgeting Besties Bingo. I got it out. It wasn't a tongue twister. What? The world is shifting. Okay. <laughs> So if that sounds like something that interests you, seeing we stuff money into cash envelopes, as well as some savings challenges, um, and then us putting some money away in our newest challenge, then let's get right into the video. All right, I think I'm all set to go and I don't really have a master plan. So let's start off with bringing out the budgeting book. Let me scoot the computer back. I was working on the bingo wheel. I'll also scoot back the plant. So basically, I knew that I didn't have any bills that I needed to pay out of this Etsy income. I did take $632. However, from that, I took some cash and did other things with it. First things first, I bought a yellow toner for my printer so I could, you know, fulfill orders without having issues with the color yellow um, in my laser printer. And that's a $75 toner. Also, I gave Janae some money for some hair products. She's taking her braids out, she wants to do her hair. And there's only $50 in the beauty envelope. So I was like, I'll just take some off the top of this cash out from Etsy. So some of this money has already been spent. What we're gonna be working on today is $500 that I have left. Now I do get a YouTube pay before it'll be time for me to start paying my AT&T bill and my water bill. And then I'll have my RM pay and I can pay Georgia Power. I should have more Etsy and more book sales and that will also be able to take care of my mortgage payment. So there's some money that'll be coming in and that means for this particular paycheck, I don't have to put any money towards any bills, okay? So that's why I was showing you that. Let's move forward to talk about what we're gonna do today. All right, so I have a total of um, Etsy income and I'm just gonna put 500 here because I already explained what I did with the others. We're not gonna do any bills, but we will do some cash envelopes and I'm not gonna do a whole lot because I do get paid again on Monday. And so I'll probably just be taking some to make it through the weekend. So let's go ahead and reflect back on what I said I was gonna do for this month. First and foremost, self-care 20, groceries 400. I'll go ahead and do groceries. And for groceries, I think I'll put 100. So Jason and I can get some groceries if we want this weekend. Um, gas, I'm gonna put 25 just in case but I don't know that I'll be driving my car this weekend. Uh, for myself, I have $50, I'll wait on that. Weekend fund, I do wanna put the 50, and that'll allow me and Jace to go see a movie or do something fun together this weekend. Uh, dining out, I'll put 50. And let's see, Stunkin, oh yeah, no, that has to go down. Uh, <laughs> Either Stunkin' or I need to get some coffee at the coffee, at the grocery store, but we're gonna go with Stunkin' and I'm gonna put 25. And then um, nothing needs to go into my nails. You guys, these little press-ons, I promise you one almost popped off in the middle finger. I re-glued it back down, but they're really not bad at all. They've been on for over a week. I'm like, what is going on? These little short press-ons are the way to go because they don't get caught on anything and they stay on. I'm telling you. It's the move. I bought two packs, so I got another pack for next week, and I might take these off before I go back to the hospital, but you know. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and add all this up, what we're gonna be doing with cash envelopes. You know what, for myself, I'm sorry, I lied. For Salisa, I wanna take uh, $40, because I got a plan or something I wanna take you guys along on a journey this weekend, and so that will be the $40 for that. So let's talk about what we have, 100 plus 25, 50, 50, 25, and 40. So that's $290. And from 500, 10 makes three. That'll be 210 left. All right, I'm not gonna put anything into sinking funds because we'll just handle that as the month goes along. Trust me, there'll be plenty. I'm gonna put the other 210 into savings challenges. Is it 210? Yeah. We'll put the other 210 there. So that'll be a total of, oh, sorry, remaining will be zero. Okay. <laughs> so 290 will be going in cash envelopes and then uh, 210 will be going into savings challenges. So that's the plan. And since I've already pulled out the $500, let's go ahead and counter up and get started. All right, let's go ahead and counter up and make sure we have $500. There's one, two, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 410, 
20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, $500. Now, I got two big bills and I just realized I have no change for that. So let me see what I can do about that. Hold on one second. Let me find some change for those two 100s. Oh, I know where. In my savings challenge binder. I feel like this one should be 250. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82. Yeah, I'll just take that. All right, 1, 2, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, 250 was in my March challenge. So we'll put this here. And you guys, I've never done the April one. Oh my gosh. We'll get the April one done before the end of the month. I didn't even put it in here. Do I have one? That's a negative. I don't even have one made. So I'll make one and we will get onto April challenge as well this month. But for right now, let's go ahead and do the cash stuffing of the cash envelopes first. All right, Mr. Calculator, I need your help. Okay, so in Salisa, we're gonna put $40. We literally could just put two 20s. I really wanna make some more envelopes soon, so yeah. I didn't wash these off yet. That probably would help my feelings about it. But as I told you, I just have a feeling I want those matte vellum ones. So there's that. Um, kids, I'm not going to put anything in. Actually, kid, I'll put 10 and I'll put 15 in Starbucks. You see what I'm saying? Which is actually spending. So we'll put 10 in here. Groceries, I'm going to put 100. And that ought to be good. I'm really finding helpful going to the store more often. And that calms me down from like buying a bunch of stuff that I never end up going through. If I go like every other day or every day, it kind of helps me just to make meals for, to get stuff for meals for the next couple of days. So that really works. Eating out is $50. At least in my case it does. And I don't always have time, but 20, 40, 50 going and eating out. I don't always have time, but I think it's helpful. Self-care, I owe $40 to this envelope, you guys. I have some money in Cash App. Look at that coffee on there. Oh, so annoying. Um, spending is for my Stunkin, and I'm going to put 15 in there since I put the other 10 in kids. So that way, if I want to get Jay something from the gas station, I don't have to feel like he's taking my coffee money because, y'all, then he'd be subject to not getting nothing from the gas station. You see what I'm saying? But this way, it all seems fair. Okay. <laughs> then gas, I'm going to put 25 And that should be enough for that. Nothing's going in nails and nothing's going to deposit. I don't have any money inside there because you guys know I took the last little $6 out. So there's nothing in there. I've not been spending anything. And so now my cash wallet is all set for success. Let's move forward to doing some savings challenges. Let me make sure I have the right dollar amount because y'all know I've been in loss something. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, and 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. 260. See, did I already miss something? Weekend fun. You feel me? I need to put that under spending because I don't have a weekend fun category. Hold on. See, this is how I get myself in trouble. Hold on. We'll put it in um, spending. When I make new envelopes, I'm going to go back to my old categories because that's how I process things. Spending is good, but spending, you know, could be anything. And right now I need my 15 to be Starbucks and this to be for us to do something on the weekend, but it's all in one envelope. 20, 40, 50, 60, 65 total for spending. Now we have 290, I mean 210, and that's exactly what we should have to get to our savings challenges. So let's get busy. Some of the things that I've been doing on my shorts, I also want to do here on the channel, and we're gonna start off with the character savings box. I literally, um, what am I pulling out that for? Let's get back on track. There we go. <laughs> I literally want to finish the chocolate bar and maybe another section. And there's a part of me that always wants to like do these challenges on shorts. But then I miss doing them here in my video. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's both. I want to be able to do both. So let's do... Wait, y'all, there's some stuff over there. Let me get that out of the way. Let's put that over there. Okay. All right, so let's see. I want to be able to do both. So let's do the chocolate bar needs six more. 
And let me see what's in the chocolate bar because I'm guessing it probably has some ones or something. Let me see, chocolate bar is supposed to have 20. Oh no, 20 and it has 15? Oh, so I must have put an extra dollar. Okay, so we're gonna take 15 out and put 20 in. And that one will be done. All right, next we're moving on to, let's finish out the panda. Panda, panda, panda. Hold on, I gotta find it. Oh, here it is. Ooh, panda's supposed to have 35. Yeah, it has 15, so we'll put 20 in there. So that equals 35. So yeah, it's like, I wanna do the things on short so people kinda get a chance to find my channel and see what I do. But I also like to do it here with you guys because this is fun. <laughs> and I want to also say with you guys. So anyway, I think that's everything. I still have quite a bit that I can do on shorts. And I'm not going to be doing anything on shorts until I get paid and put some money aside for it. So for right now, the character savings box is complete. I think I might be making some more and releasing some of these as well as some savings boxes in the next week or so. So be on the lookout if that's something you're interested in. I'll announce it in a short first. All right, next I wanna do Monopoly Cash. This one has some bigger dollar amounts and I love to do this on Instagram and like reels, shorts and reels. But it also, you know, could be done here, especially when I have smaller dollar amounts. So mine equals up to $800. This is a custom challenge that you could purchase down in my shop as well. And you could pick your um, vinyl color. So this one's blue and that's why it looks like this. Um, I'm going to do $40. That's a nice round one. And what am I going to use this for? I don't know. I have a girl's trip coming up for real. Um, so I might try to use some of it for that if I make it that far. Like, in other words, if I get done by the time the girl's trips come, because it's coming quick. Um, but if not, I'm just going to save and get to 800 and be, you know, reallocating it as I go. I've been really big on like not reallocating things and just holding on to stuff. But that's $40. These are the type of envelopes I want to make for my cash wallet. So I love that. And that is the Monopoly Cash. Get back in there. Okay, that's Monopoly Cash. So we did that one. Next, I want to do the Savings Box. This is the other one that might be coming out later in the month. Wait, do I have any other sections that are almost done? No, no, no. Well, all right, let's go on. I've already completed, this has 12 sections if you don't know. Every section has $4 amounts. I've completed section one, two, and three, and so we're gonna be working on section four today. So let us go to section four. Luckily, it's nothing crazy. We could do $30. Doink. 25, 30. So this is $30 that'll be going in. It should already have 40, right. I've not been doing the sections in order, so I'm not gonna act like that's what I do. I kind of just pick a number and put it anywhere. But since we're, you know, working towards getting down the line, I said, let's just put it in section four, 20, 40, 60, 65, 70. And if anything would have been close to being complete, I probably would have just stuffed that one. But since this, all of them needed like a section or two, it's no big deal. So there's that, 160 going into section four. And that is the end of the savings box. Again, I'll probably be releasing some of these to my Etsy store coming up in the next week or so. Let me put the boxes, let's move the plant. Put the boxes on the table. There we go. Oh, I forgot about this. Okay, hold on. Next up, let's do the Stack more money. Now the stack more money is um, my 100 envelope box. I'm using the tracker in the Easy Cash Save More Money Challenges book edition. This book has over 20 challenges, I believe, that save you varying dollar amounts. And I've completed some of them, but I'm still working through others. This is one of the larger ones because when you finish this, you will have saved $5,050 as the 100 envelope challenge does. I started it on February 2nd. So we're gonna put at least one to two envelopes in today and color it in. Let me see. I feel like maybe I should get one big one. Let me just randomly pick something. I cannot, let me turn around where I can't see the numbers. I'm just gonna randomly pick, Oh, I picked two. 
Okay, 42 and 44. So that's what we're gonna do today. 20, 40. Oh no, some of these are so little. I thought all these were 20s. <laughs> oh my gosh. I thought these were all big bills. Do I have enough? 20, 45. And then 10, 20, 45. 20, 30, 45. And then 20, 45. Okay, so I'll put 45 in each one. Cause I don't have any ones and I don't feel like dealing with Miss Big Bertha, even though she down here organized and ready to go. But uh, I just don't feel like swapping out bills today. So we're just gonna put 45 in each one of these. So that was $90 that went in there. Okay, 100 envelope. But that was really actually number 42 and 44. So we need to color those in on the tracker. Is that 42? Yeah, 42 and 44. So let me cover that up. And let's work on coloring this in. Let's see, 42 and 44. And this is my progress so far towards the 100 envelope challenge. So that's that. On my shorts, I also have been doing some other challenges that I put into a pink unbreakable piggy bank. And so that's another challenge that I've been doing. So we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. I'm feeling like before we go any further, we probably ought to do our budgeting besties bingo because that is what's most important. I probably won't be able to get to this binder today because I thought I had more cash than what I actually did. I've been filling up my numbers as I fill up you guys' numbers. So like if I print trackers and let's say you want it for number 200s, I think the order had four 200s on it. And so, um, I have to print three trackers per page, so I just went ahead and print two extras, and I stuck a 200 here for me and a 200 back here somewhere, so I'm not wasting it. You see what I'm saying? So I'm letting you guys kind of pick the numbers. As you score your numbers and I print yours, if I have extra space, I'm just printing whatever you have and sticking it in, and that's going to be the total of my 20 envelopes. So far, I only have one envelope stuffed, which is the $25 one right here. And I thought about turning it behind the page. I might do that. Let's do that. I said I might do that if I finish that air, that section. So that way I can know that section is complete. So let's put 25 behind, I mean in front of. All right, so that section's complete. So some of the other sections, as I fill them up, I'll put the dollar bills in front of the number so I'll know that they're already taken care of and already cash stuffed. These um, binders are available in my Etsy storefront and you can pick to have the floral trackers or just the plain envelopes if you want. I have a really fun idea coming with one of these coming up soon, so stay on the lookout for that. All right, it's time for our budgeting besties bingo because we only have $25 left. And since that is a pretty reasonable challenge, I think we should move there next. Here's the tracker. If you don't know for, let me, hold on, hold on. Let me get rid of some of this stuff. All right, here's the tracker for the budgeting besties bingo. If you don't know, you can digitally download this at a link down below in my description. You don't have to put an email. You don't have to register. You literally just click the link and print. If you want it in this full size, you can say fit to page or fit to print space, I think is what I did this time. So I'd have the red border all the way around versus last time versus last time it looked like this. And this was when my yellow ink was out, but you can tell I got the yellow toner. Now it looks a lot better. So this is the new one and I printed it on paper this time. I mean, it's not all that important that it be on cardstock for me. But anyway, there's some other changes that I wanna make note of. First things first, the next person to pull on the 21st will be Kelsey. And I had her page listed as Better Budget Life, but it's Budget Better Life. So I made the correction on that form. And then also Priscilla Taylor, she's one of my members. She wants to actually pull a number. I'm not sure if she's gonna start her channel and we'll get her channel name updated here, or if she's just gonna pull under her name and send me the footage, then she's gonna be pulling on May 17th. So those are the two most important changes to this game. But for today, let's go ahead and pull our first number. And then we'll be pulling, like I said, in two days, on Better Budget Life's channel. I have the link to all the channels down in my description if you can't locate them, but just know they all are listed on the tracker, so you should be able to find them, their YouTube channels by that as well. Either way, okay? All right, let's pull the first number. What we're gonna do is pull up a wheel. All right, so we're gonna start by going here to the random wheel of names where I've listed all the colors as well as the numbers. I guess I could have put like B dollar sign, B three, 
B6, that's more like bingo, but I'll put red or blue, yellow, green, or purple. And so what we're gonna do is shuffle a few times. One, two, three, four. And now we're gonna spin to see what we're gonna save here on my channel as the first spin of the Budgeting Besties Bingo. All right, so we're gonna spin so we're gonna save red six. So I'm gonna go ahead and color in the number six here. So that one's all done. And we're gonna put $6 into the challenge. I guess I might need Big Bertha. Hold on, let me get some change. All right, so we'll put five and six. And I'm gonna put it into, I'm gonna be revamping my um, binder pretty soon. I'm thinking, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be doing that. And so for right now, I'm gonna put it into the empty envelope. Whoa. So for right now, I'm gonna put it into the empty envelope where I usually put my reels or my shorts money. That's gonna be for budgeting besties bingo until I make an envelope. $6 will be going in there. And in two days, we'll be adding a little bit more to that fund. Now, let me see, what else do I wanna do? Because I have how much, 15? Ooh, I have enough to do one of my character scratch-offs. Super stoked about that. All right, these character scratch-offs are available down in my um, Etsy storefront as well. They come in varying dollar amounts. I now have the lowest, which is $50, where every scratch is between five and 15. Every single one of them has the character embedded under one of the scratch offs. And if you scratch that character, you're supposed to save either five or $15 on this one. And then I'm also doing the larger one for 350 and every number is between 45 and 75. And if you scratch the character, you're supposed to save either 45 or 75, okay? I previously have completed the pig, which is 250. There's three others, cause there's a total of six of them. And so the pig I ended up saving, I think, how much should I get, 50, 70, 90, 110. 130, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Oh, wait. 275. 150, 70, 90, 210, 230, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75. Yeah, 275, because I saved 250 from the challenge and I saved 25 when I scratched the pig. So that's why 275 is in here. And we're going to leave that in there, but we're going to work on one of the lower ones since I have $19. Nothing should be over 15 if I did this right. So let's go ahead and try this one. Okay, five. Mm, now do I risk it again? Okay, $5 is gonna go in here. Do I chance it again? Cause look, I got $14 and nothing is bigger than a 15. Huh, I'm gonna try again. Let's try this one. Oh! Out of all the dots in this scratch off, I scratched the 15 and I'm $1 short. You know I'm not putting an IOU in here for $1. I'm not about to do it. She not, she not. Where that cash wallet at? I'm willing to give up a dollar out of my Starbucks spending because I'm not about to put no IOU for no dollar. Now that's just, now we could do certain things, but certain things just go just a little too far. What you think? We're gonna take the five out, put the four in. So now in spending, I have 20, 40, 60, 20, 40, 50, 60, 61, two, three, 64. Okay, I'll take it. I give a dollar, cause I do not, I'm telling you, do not wanna have an IOU for a dollar. Okay, so now we have 15. So the whole 20 ended up going in here. Five, 10, 15, 20. And we are two scratches closer to being done with this challenge. Super exciting. All right, so we have done all the things. We did the budget for the week of Etsy Pay, as well as, and thank you to everyone who's purchased from my shop, as well as we did the Budgeting Besties Bingo. I told you guys about the updates. Please head over to Budget Better Life, Kelsey's channel, in order to get the pull from the 21st. I might try to create shorts as we go in regards to adding to the actual challenge. But for right now, head over to her channel on the 21st so we can get the next number. And we, meaning I will be there as well. All right, and then after that, she'll direct you on where to go, which you'll be going to Life with Debra Nay.
following that. All right, so in regards to the Etsy shop, I wanted to give you an update that I restocked a bunch of products. I restocked this, um, this or that challenge, as well as the binder that holds the this or that if you needed that. I also restocked all the cash envelopes, so they're all available, as well as the envelopes like this that go with the actual challenge book. These are available as well. Um, let's see, all of the A7 and A6 florals are back, as well as the character A7 and A6 are in the stop are in stock right now. The only envelopes I think I did not restock were these glitter ones. And I'm going to sell the ones that I have here as oops envelopes. But after that, I'm not going to be making any more. They're just too time consuming. They're very pretty, but too time consuming. So all of these are oops envelopes. And I kind of wanted to just show you really quickly what I have. And I'll be listing them probably by today, if not today, then tomorrow. And I'll, and I'll put out a little short about it. So this, these are the glitter ones, weekend fun, nails, gas, dining out, kids, date night, groceries, Duncan, self-care, deposit. That's one for me. This was my other one with that other kind of hollow for the ones that I have that I love, but now I'm gonna change it up. Okay, so that's that. And then I have holidays, kids, some more kids, beauty, eat out. Dine out, personal, kids, tides, weekend fun. Um, wait, that's extra piece of paper. Dine out, mental wellness, Nespresso, housekeeper, eating out, giving, miscellaneous, spending, my birthday, Mother's Day. Those are all of the florals. And then the characters are dine out, coffee, groceries, shipping, another dining out. Oh, dine out, dining out, gas, bills, gas, treat yourself, Starbucks, dining out, groceries, massage. House stuff, gas, deposit, dining out, and eat out. So all of these will be available as oops envelopes, and that means they'll be $2 per envelope. And I'll be listing them, like I said, probably mm, probably tomorrow I'll have them go live, and they'll be available for immediate shipment. So just check and see if you want some A7 envelopes that are oops, then you'll be checking it out tomorrow. Okay? And like I said, I'll do a little short to post so that you'll know, you know that I, they've been listed. So be on the lookout for that. And I think that is everything. We talked about the oops envelopes, all the restocking of the products on Etsy, as well as did some cash envelopes and savings challenges, and also did our first spin on budgeting besties bingo. This one's gonna be a good one. It'll take time for us to go all around to everybody's channels and take time for us to finally hit a bingo because we're only pulling every other day and a small amount. So I'm gonna put some money to the side out of my YouTube check so I can catch up with this challenge because on the 21st, I think I won't have a check yet, but on the 22nd, I'll probably get paid. So whatever Kelsey pulls, as well as Life with Deborah Nay, I'll be pulling that out of my YouTube check and putting that towards this challenge. So you don't have to stay right on top of every two days. You can list it down, which is what I'll be doing on the back of this, and then putting the money away once I get paid. Anyway, I think that's everything for today. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video, which should be pretty soon. I have something fun planned that I wanna bring you guys along for the ride. Also, um, like this video because it helps it to be suggested to other people who might need the information. And finally, share this video with someone if you think they need a free savings challenge or just to be inspired to save small amounts that will add up to great amounts later. All right, I think that's everything for today. I appreciate you guys for being here and I will talk to you very soon. Take care. Bye.